Perplexity is an AI-powered chatbot and is created to be an alternative to search engines. So they actually refer to themselves as an answer engine because when you ask a question here, it's going to give you one answer. And it has some powerful things like a focus mode. If you're writing specifically for academic papers, for example, I'll show you this in more detail. You could also attach images and PDFs. There is a whole pro search option that gives you a whole lot more access to more powerful AI in the background as well. We'll dive into this here in this video. And by the end of this video, you'll have a really good grasp on what Perplexity AI can do. So to get started, just go to perplexity.ai. This is a website. And if you click the download tab, they also do have apps for your iPhone, your Android phone, and they have a Chrome search default. You could actually change this to be your search engine by default. And they have a Chrome extension too, if you're using Google Chrome. For this video, we're gonna focus on the website. So to get started, this is where your prompt goes and it also gives you suggestions. And as you type in a search or a prompt here, the text underneath will also autocomplete to give you other suggestions. Now I'll show you this focus mode, this attach icon and this pro mode in a second. Right now, let's go ahead and do a typical search here and I'll press send. And this is what the result looks like on perplexity. So on top, it's gonna show you the different sources that it found the answer from, and here's the answer. So basically all you get, and really all you need is this answer, and then you'll see all the different sources that it pulled from. So it doesn't pull just from one link, like traditional Google search. It's gonna pull from multiple different links and kind of assemble this answer. And you could quickly rewrite the answer too. So if you don't like it, you could click here and you could rewrite it based on some of these other models. Now, some of these are gonna require a pro version. So I'll show you that when I cover the pro mode in a second. You could also share here. So this share link, it also appears on top where you could go ahead and copy this link and send it to someone or press the search option and you could get different links like this one is only the author could view this. This is a shareable link and you could share it to your different platforms from here too. You could also search for images here on the right side. So if you click search for images, it's gonna go ahead and do a search and video here, it's gonna do a quick video search. And this is gonna open up a YouTube video, for example, if you click on it. You could also generate images, but this is a pro option that I'll show you once we turn on pro mode. Now, if you're using this for research, they also have collections that come in handy. So let's say I'm researching generative AI. I could click on collections up here and create a research collection for that topic that I'm researching at the moment. I could add a little emoji if I want, give it a description here. I could also change the privacy here and make it more secret or shareable. Shareable is okay, create. Now, if you go to the libraries tab, you're gonna see all your recent conversations that are called threads and you'll see your collection. So I created a collection, but it actually doesn't have anything inside of it. So I could press this plus sign and add it to my generative AI collection. Now, if I go to this collection, it's gonna have the thread of that conversation or that answer that I had underneath. And if you wanna collaborate with other people, you could always press this invite option right here and send them a link and they could actually join you inside of these conversations as well and inside of those collections. Okay, let's go back to the homepage. You could always start a new search by pressing new thread up here and it's gonna open up this box as well. But let me show you focus mode because this is where a lot of the power of perplexity AI come into play. So all is gonna search across the entire internet. But sometimes, especially when you're doing research, you may wanna narrow that search down. So there is five different options available. They may add more in the future. So the very first one is a comprehensive search across the web. If I didn't mention this before, this obviously is a search engine of some kind. So it has live internet access. Now the second option is more focused on academic publications. So if you're writing something that is more focused on that, it's best to choose this. And I'll link this below as well if you wanna see some of these examples. They do link to some examples. The next option you have is called Wolfram Alpha. Now if you're doing any computational data or mathematical equations or calculations, this is a much better one to choose, as you could see on the example here. YouTube searches within the YouTube library, so it's gonna give you timestamps to specific parts of a video. This is really, really useful. This is something that's inside of Google Gemini chatbot, but you could also use it inside of Perplexity AI. And as of right now, they also have a Reddit option where it focuses on searching within the discussions that takes place inside of Reddit. That is very powerful as well. 
So every time you start a search or a prompt here, go ahead and choose a focus mode. Typically, if you stay on all, you're going to get good results. But if you need to get more narrow, they also have a writing one that generates text. Let me just show you one of the focus modes here and search for that. And here, if I'm trying to write a research paper here, it's going to give me some ideas on the outline of the research paper. And it gave me some related questions. And I clicked on one of the related questions and it's giving me an answer with sources. What's really great about the sources is you will get a little citation here after each little section. Sometimes they're all together because it's going to use multiple sources to give you one chunk of the answer. In this case, this specific thing is coming from this source right here. And this is real live web search, so it's not going to be able to make up any links. Now, in my previous experience, some other chatbots sometimes made up a link that didn't exist. This, in my experience, has never done that. And every time I click a link, it takes me to a reputable website where you pull that information from. Okay, now let me show you this pro search option. Now this is gonna be limited when you're using the free version. So far, we've only used a free version of perplexity. But pro search is gonna give you some really powerful options. So if you turn it on, you're only gonna get five searches that you could do with this pro option turn on. This is gonna give you much smarter chatbots in the background, more powerful chatbots like access to chat GPT and Claude. I'll show you exactly what this does in the setting. And you're also going to be able to create images and things like that with Dolly. And this is basically what Perplexity Pro gives you. It gives you pro search, unlimited file uploads. This is also something that is very limited. It gives you access to Claude and GPT-4 with their vision capability, something you don't have. So you could actually see what's inside of an image. You get different AI models and you could select between them. So you get GPT-4, I'm assuming GPT-5 when it comes out. Claw 3 is out right now, so you get access to that. And this one is $20 a month, so similar to other models. But you may just want to get this instead of getting GPT-4 and Claude. This gives you access to all, and you get a little bit of API credit if you're building on this for more advanced development. Okay, with the Pro Search, I want to write a comprehensive research paper about the history of space travel. This is turned on. I'm on the free version still, but I get five searches each day. Now, this is going to be a lot more interactive, but the result is going to be much more comprehensive. So it's going to ask me a follow-up question. If you just want a quick answer and use it as an answer engine, use the option that doesn't have the pro turn on. But in this case, you could go ahead and go through and answer some of these questions. This is going to give me a much more comprehensive answer than I've had before with the quick searches. And what you also get is this little follow-up prompt box where you could get it to fine tune this answer for you any which way you want. So if you're using ChatGPT to prompt previously, this works the exact same way. This kind of turns it into more of a typical AI chatbot than the one that just gives you the answer. And as you can see, it's created a really nice outline, the introduction here with bullet points and the different sections. And this is based on a 10 page document that I asked for. And then I asked it to help me write the introduction and then it's going to ask me how many paragraphs. I told it two paragraphs and it wrote me a two paragraph introduction here and I could have this back and forth with it. So what's really great about this is basically having an AI assistant that could help you fine tune a real research paper rather than just spit one out that you copy and paste. That's not going to sound like anything you would write. And this rewrite option is really useful because you could actually use different models like GPT-4, for example, to rewrite it. So that's going to require us to upgrade. And I'll show you that because we need to also do this for image uploading as well. And I just upgraded my account. So if I want to rewrite this using a different model, I'm going to use GPT-4, which is a more powerful model or Claude 3 actually is the new one. So I'll select that one right now and it's going to go to work. And it's going to rewrite it. It's going to ask me how many paragraphs again. And there we go. Now we have Claude 3. And Claude 3 helped us write this in the background inside of Perplexity. And we still have our references here. Again, this is from NASA.gov. You could see he also pulled something here from history.state.gov. So very reputable sources here, government sources that he pulled from. So this is how you would go back and forth and fine tune any kind of research that you're doing using this paid version of Perplexity. Now that we have the paid version here turned on with the pro version, you could see my searches are now 600 per day instead of five per day. So this is gonna really increase. I mean, I'm not gonna run out of 600 complex searches every single day. And I could attach different types of files. Let me ask you to describe an image here that has text. 
because it has vision capability. And this said AI powered design for entrepreneurs. And as you could see, it not only read the text, but it understood the design with a striking yellow block here in the center. And it told me more about the file name even. And basically everything I need to know, even the word new release, which I think that's tiny right here. Yeah, it caught that as well. Now, every time you do any kind of research here with the pro search option, this generate image option is also available. So you could do different types of styles. So let's say I want an illustration here about the housing market, this pro search I just ran, and it's gonna generate something for us. And it has two different models you could choose from for what it's using in the background to create that. So let me show you exactly how that works. If I come to the settings gear over here, under Perplexity Pro, this is where I could actually choose the different image model. So right now it's using the playground model that didn't give me a great result. I could also use Dolly 3. I could also use Stable Diffusion, which is an open source model. I'll use Dolly here. That's my favorite out of those three. And you could also change the AI model and look how many they have available. You have GPT-4. That's right now the best version that OpenAI has. You have Claw 3. This is a new version from Anthropic. This is incredible. This is limited right now, it looks like. This uses something called Opus, which is Claw 3. Opus is the best model. And this might change this limitation. And you have Mistral Large. This is an open source model by a French company, really powerful as well. So if you're not getting exactly what you want out of the default model, change it. Try to use ChatGPT and see if you're getting a better response. Right now, I'm gonna use Dolly 3 for image and the chatbot's gonna be powered by Claude 3. And let me jump back in a new chat now that we have Dolly 3 turned on and you could generate images now using Dolly 3 in the background. Let me try painting here. And this is what we got out of Dolly 3, pretty good. But a lot of times you may wanna customize the prompt so you can actually do that. So when you click this option, if you click custom prompt, you could actually see what prompt it's using here to generate that and change it. And you could describe your own style as well. So this is very, very useful. This is basically what's inside of the paid version of chat GPT. And they also have this discover tab over here, which is useful. So anytime you could go and see what's new and then you could click on it here and read an answer over here if you wanna use it that way. And as you can see, even the free version of this could be a really powerful alternative to search. And I also recently made a video on the top 50 AI tools. So if you really wanna master AI and see what the whole world of AI has to offer, this is just one of those tools. I covered 49 other ones in that video. I recommend you watch that next and I'll see you on the next video.